Hi, my name is Veronica Colon Rosario and I am the Executive Director of the Puerto Rico Women's Foundation. I am talking to you today not only as a Latina, but as a resident in Puerto Rico where the wage gap is exacerbated by the significant difference in wages between Puerto Rico and the U.S. Households in Puerto Rico have a median annual income of $20,474, which is less than the median annual income of $65,000 across the entire United States. Though it is true that Puerto Rico is one of the few jurisdictions in the world in which the median annual income of women is greater than men, it is not true when you look at wage gaps and educational level. When you compare women and men in the same educational level, you find that the wage gap is significant. Males of 25 years or older that have not graduated from high school make $2,118 more than women on the same educational level. Men who have graduated high school make $2,555 more than women in that same level of education. If they have an associate, that increases to $2,810 a year in favor of men. But as we get more educated, we make less. When men have a bachelor's degree, they make $6,274 more a year than women who also competed, completed a bachelor's degree. Men who completed a graduate degree make $11,858 more a year than women in the same educational level. So the disparities here are real. And despite legislation in Puerto Rico to close the gap, nothing has changed. Many factors influence the wage disparities. But as a Latina woman, in my, in my own personal experience, I can tell you that this comes from the supposition that a woman's salary is complementary as the man is still seen, still seen as the head of household. A woman is the caregiver of children, elderly, sick, and the disabled. So they will always be perceived as less competitive. We have to break the stereotypes. The time is now we have to fight for equal pay both in Puerto Rico and the United States.